The man pressed a coin against the woman's forehead, causing white smoke to emanate from her. The woman grimaced in pain, writhing and howling incessantly until she finally quieted down. Constantine bent down to inspect the situation, and a demon's head emerged from the woman's neck. Constantine punched it furiously, quickly calling for someone to place a large mirror above the woman. He recited an incantation, drawing the demon into the mirror. The demon struggled to break free from the mirror, but Constantine forcefully dragged it out of the window. As the mirror shattered, the demon vanished, and the woman woman returned to normal. Constantine was an exorcist, tasked with sending demons back to hell one by one. However, he also became a target for the demons. One demon ambushed him on the street, pinning Constantine down. Constantine fought back. The demon warned him to mind his own business. He managed to break free, luring the demon onto the road. Just as the demon prepared to strike again, it was struck by a passing car, scattering crabs, rats, and cockroaches all over the ground. The man stared into the cat's eyes. The next moment, he found himself in hell, holding a crystal ball. His sin quickly caught the attention of the demons, who began to converge on him. A woman noticed him and tossed a wristband his way as he sprinted faster. Just as the demons closed in, he caught the wristband and smashed the crystal ball. Returning to the earthly realm, Constantine was investigating the death of the woman's sister, delving into hell for crucial information, but it wasn't enough. Two others who knew the information were killed one after another. Constantine instructed the woman to lay in the bathtub, submerging her head underwater. He pressed down on her chest, preventing her from surfacing as she struggled for air. Despite her efforts to grasp Constantine's arm, she couldn't break free from his hold. Suddenly, the water droplets paused for a moment. Then the woman surfaced as the bathtub shattered. She witnessed countless demons and, rising to her feet, brought Constantine to the crime scene, retrieving a coin from the sewer. The man knew it was the work of Balthazar. The man was splashed with liquid, his face rapidly corroding, yet he felt no pain. He pressed Constantine against the wall. Constantine retrieved brass knuckles from his clothes, raining blows upon the man's face. His face dissolved, revealing the demon's visage. Constantine mounted him forcing him to reveal Mammon's conspiracy. The woman was the conduit for Mammon's entry into the world. She was suddenly snatched away by an unseen force, passing through layer after layer of walls. Constantine chased after her, but he couldn't catch up. Constantine forged special bullets and modified a gilling gun for exorcism. Alone, he entered the house of demons, igniting the fire sprinklers with a lighter. As water sprayed onto their faces, the demons revealed their true forms. Holy water had been added to the fire suppression system. The demons screamed in agony as they closed in on Constantine. He wielded his gun, sending each demon back to hell. Finally, he found the woman, now possessed by a demon. Con Constantine save her.